New York Yankees fans and Major League Baseball fans, yet again, it is Felix from N1News.com. Like always, all local Mustas. Hashtag all local Mustas. Yankees fans, this team, I don't know. People think I get on here just to talk smack, just to update my page. No. I have been doing this since 2005, okay? Where me and myself and the 7A source Pete, we used to write articles, but now people prefer, you know, audio, videos, etc. So let's talk about the 2018 Yankees very quick. The reason why that team turned it around after that disaster storm, you know, they were garbage, is because they called up players like Miguel Andujar, Glaber Torres. Glaber Torres was the key, actually. He turned around the Yankees' season. They obviously got a jolt from him. So I can't say the same this season. The Yankees have a whole bunch of injuries. We don't know when Severino's coming back. We don't even know when Miguel Andujar is coming back. This team needs a jaunt. And sadly to say, they're not going to get it from their minor league system. They're not going to get it. They need to go out there and make an early trade. They need to get an impact player. They need to get an intimidating name that, let's say, when you're looking at the Yankees lineup or starting pitcher, You say, wow, I'm scared of this team. The Yankees have no possible way of doing that in their minor league system. Last year, last season they did, but not this season. This is why the Yankees are in trouble. And don't expect Hal Steinbrenner to come out and say, the Yankees are not a good team right now. I'm going to make the moves. I'm going to sign Dallas Keuchel. He's not going to do that. Hal Steinbrenner is running the Yankees like a hotel operation. This is what... Hal Steinbrenner was into before he became the principal owner of the New York Yankees. And trust me when I tell you this, folks, the Yankees are going to battle injuries all season long. Many people have said this. Even I have said this repeatedly on this channel. At least go out there and get a big name. Even though if they struggle, at least it's a big name. And the intimidation factor is going to be there. But no, not with these Yankees. These Yankees are saving money. These Yankees are investing on the business aspect of this operation. With stocks, investors, buying a Yes Network back, etc., etc. So, to be realistic, if the Yankees cannot do this, if they don't get a jolt from their minor league system, which, to me, I don't see it happening, you have to, let's say, I don't like to say this, you have to put the heat on Aaron Boone. Even though he's a puppet, even though he's taking advice from the analytical guys, he is still the manager of the New York Yankees, and he's supposed to be lining a fire under these players. And to be honest with you guys, folks, Aaron Boone does not have that personality. The Yankees had a perfect manager when it came to Joe Girardi in that aspect, where he would run his clubhouse like a boot camp. But no, we had a whole bunch of crybaby Yankees players that said, hey, we don't like Joe Girardi, he's too tough. Well, even though the Yankees won 100 games last season, because of many aspects, the call-ups, players giving the Yankees a jolt, the main reason why they won 100 games, Aaron Boone specifically, even though he's the manager, he wasn't the main reason why the Yankees won 100 games last season, because we all know now, because of that book, that Aaron Boone is just a puppet. So really, this season is Aaron Boone's real test because we've seen it early. We've seen how the Yankees players are reacting to Boone as the manager. We're seeing Boone's popularity with the Yankees fan base dwindle. I've never bashed Aaron Boone. I had a full season where I absolutely said nothing bad about that guy. But it's come apparent that comparing Aaron Boone with Joe Girardi, I mean, Aaron Boone looks like to quote um, Arnold Schwarzenegger, he looks like a choir boy compared to Joe Girardi. Oh, you want to f*** with me? You think you know bad, huh? You're a f- choir boy compared to me. A choir boy. So getting swept by the Astros that really hasn't happened ever till last night has to be a huge wake-up call to the Yankees front office and his team in general, okay? This was a test to Aaron Boone. This was a test to the Yankees front office. If you cannot compete versus playoff teams with this team that you have, you have to pull the trigger and make a trade early. 
because it's going to be a recurring theme that the Yankees get on the injury list and, yeah, you get swept by a playoff contending team or even worse, a lousy team. Like I said, I see no alternatives for the Yankees this season. Last season, they had a whole bunch of them, a whole bunch of talent in their minor league system. This year, they didn't go out there and sign an intimidating player or at least subpar. You know, they just stuck with the team they had last year, and we're seeing the repercussions of that because a lot of players are going down. And like I said, they really don't have alternatives to replace these players. The only alternatives for the Yankees is to sign or maybe trade for players with an S. Not a player, players. Signing or trading for players. Because that's the only way they're going to salvage the mess that the Yankees are currently in. And to be honest with you guys, folks, I was never a boom basher. But really, now I'm starting to get annoyed with Aaron Boone. Because I see that these players really are, you know, taking it easy. You know, Gary Sanchez being picked off base two times or whatever. These mental mistakes. That wouldn't be happening with Joe Girardi, period. At least Joe Girardi had nuts, balls. This manager does not. And, you know, I'm getting to know it now. So, Yankees fans, leave your opinions in the comment section below. And like always, this has been Felix from NYNews.com. Share, like, and subscribe, and I will check you out next time. Before it hits the front page, NYNews. For the